Hello everybody and welcome to the final tutorial, the money shot if you will, of this series. This time I'm covering landing in the DCS MiG-21. As a general rule of thumb, the lighter you are, the easier it is to land, so between 5 and 800 litres of fuel is a good sweet spot. If you wish, you may use the RSBN station for directional cues on the KPP and NPP. This is fully explained in my navigation and SAU tutorials, however in brief, tune in the station, select the correct runway heading on the KPP, you can then set mode to landing and follow the glide scope if you wish. In this tutorial I'll be disregarding the flight director and landing visually. Roughly line up with the runway and use air brakes if necessary to reduce your speed to about 500 km per hour. At 500 and 1000 meters altitude, retract your air brakes and extend your undercarriage. Giggity. The recommended sink rate is 7 meters per second, but you can go to 10 or 12 if necessary. At 600 meters, set flaps to 25%. Begin reducing your sink rate and allow speed to drop. At 100 meters, set flaps to full and begin to almost level out. Increase power to maintain a 1 meter sink rate. Touch down around 300, set throttle to zero and deploy chute. Pulse your brakes until you reach a safe taxi speed, then disconnect your chute. You can come in at a steeper angle if you wish, but there are three things you should always remember. Always keep the runway in view, level out near touchdown without flaring, and increase power to maintain a shallow sink rate at the end. Landing the MiG-21 is very much like the aforementioned money shot. Both require a good sense of timing and excellent hand-eye coordination. However, if you mess up the former, you'll only leave a trail of debris down the runway. If you mess up the latter, you'll run out of memory, leaving dry faces and disappointed viewers everywhere. On that moisturizing thought, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.